Member for Surrey Cloverdale. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Last November, my office held an open house for our seniors in our community rec centre to share their thoughts, share their ideas, and ask their questions. For most of you, you're aware that my career as a firefighter, I have a number of co-workers who have passed away <coughs> due to their occupational exposures to the toxins <coughs> that they breathe. And I was speaking about our past battalion chief, Bill Robertson, who had passed away after being diagnosed with multiple myeloma. It was at this meeting that I met Betty, Betty, who I would find out later was also diagnosed with the same carcinoma I had spoken about at that meeting. And that led to a meeting in my constituency office with Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil Harbridge is the Patient Advisory Council Vice Chair and Western Canada Representative for Myeloma Canada. He was asking what I could do to make Multiple Myeloma Awareness Month more prominent. So here we go. 11 Canadians are diagnosed with multiple myeloma every day. That number has steadily been rising over the last 15 years. And, uh, and Stats Canada reports that myeloma is increasing at a higher rate than any other type of cancer for males and at the second highest rate for females. In recent years, considerable progress has been made, but Canadians need your help to continue and accelerate that progress. This month, we're celebrating Multiple Myeloma Awareness Month, and they, those in the gallery, need your help to bring awareness to this incurable cancer. More Canadians need to be made aware of the effects of this de devastating disease so that those who have been diagnosed earlier can have a chance for a better outcome. Mr. Speaker, together we can get one step closer to a cure and make myeloma matter. Together we can improve the lives of those living with the disease and look at implementing measures to improve prevention, diagnosis, and treatment wherever possible. Together, we can create a far better future for myeloma patients. Thank you.